Thank you, Coach Ubi, for making time to, to speak with us um, at the comfort of your house. And uh, as the man who's the former provincial technical officer, uh, together with Mary in February, um, can you share with us a little bit of your reflection? Um, I think you're in the position now, or you were in the position for more than two years. Uh, my pleasure, Idris. Uh, reflections? I think we need to do more reflections and reviews on our tasks that we were that we have done and completed. Uh, the Vision 2022 plan FIFA SAFA was distributed to all provinces. And this was explained and done when we PTOs met the officials of the different regions. Then they had to uh, try and put it into place within a, a short period of time. It was done by certain regions. And uh, up till the end of our period now, only three regions out of the six regions really were organized and had uh, technical committees in, in, in place. Uh, for two years, the talent identification went uh, reasonably well because we uh, uh, appointed or we had the help of ex-professionals to assist with the selection of, of uh, the teams. Those games were run by the Department of Culture and Sport in the 17 and under 15 provincial games. Very successful. Last year, all teams reached the final. Even the under 21 team reached the final. Out of the five finals that we reached, uh, we won three of them, uh, Western Cape. Well done, we did very well. However, we had some, uh, not discrepancies, disagreements with selection of teams and that. But uh, I was lucky, we were lucky in fact, that we had top ex-professional players to identify players that they don't know at all. We know how certainly and we might, how we identify players, you know, according to who we like and who we need to get in. But because they have played professional level, at international level, they assisted us tremendously. The planning of the coaching education was also distributed in advance. But because we need uh, a certain amount of uh, participants, we need, we need venues uh, to be done in advance, which in most of the cases were not done. Then causes were cancelled, uh, not enough participants, uh, maybe the, the, uh, the fee that was charged was too much. So we, did, we had a, a certain directions from South and National. But the education also uh, had a hiccup somewhere up in Johannesburg. And we, we, we struggled, the instructors and facilitators and people that had to take off from work to, to, to stand in for the education. It was a bit of a problem for us. And uh, no disrespect again. We expected the people that to be in charge of the education of the province or the region to have played football before or to have been involved with football. But in most of the cases, these guys didn't play top football. And the education to gym is just that, oh, I must get the guys through the course. And it's no good for us. That's no good for us. Also the beat, the times, the duration. We revised that, in fact. But I don't want to sound negative, but again, the people that are in charge of the coaching education has no educational background in handling footballers, in handling people that need to get off from work, handling people that still have games over the same weekend that you have identified 
to have the course. Those disruptions uh, was a bit of an obstacle. However, they are top coaches. They are very good coaches in the province. Western province is a big province. They have sportsmen all over. And we must recognize the good ladies. We must recognize the good coaches. If not, then we are not going to keep, be tops. We're lucky that we had two successful years at interprovincial level with the juniors. Then the thing that is really disturbing is the plan, the year plan. How, when, where. That is not set out in advance. One of the reasons? The guys that are setting up the plan has got no budget ahead to tell them, work with this budget. Then we can plan. Plans are put in place, not followed, because the, I don't know, we're the only country that plays right through the year football. So when are you going to plan your education? When are you going to plan your fixtures? Most of the 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 boys, they play in winter and then they go into the summer league. Why are there so many uh, competitions? The plan cannot fit. You cannot fit competitions, two-year competitions into a one-year plan. I think you, you understand what I'm saying. So the youngsters, the good youngsters from 17 to 21, plays eight seasons in four years. True. Because he plays during the winter and he plays during the summer. The plan is actually incorrect from the PSL side. I can no disrespect. We, football is a winter sport. We play our football in the top division is playing football in summer. Doesn't make sense. While the amateurs are all playing in winter. So where is the support for the professional teams? Well, I guess, Coach, that has to do with the... We've got a disconnection um, when it comes to our football. I think we've seen, all of us, we've seen it. Um, <clears throat> but let's just look at the the three regions you said they were out of compliance, or rather you had three regions that were solid and they, they, they took on on your plan. And the others, which not, is... Not my plan, it's our plan. Yes, I'm work. saying in the context of your yeah. duties. Yes. I'm saying in the context of your duties, hence I'm saying into your plan, because you must execute that, and that must be informed to, 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 to suffer, to say, here's the plan, which is for the organization, but you've got yourselves who must seek to it that it is executed. But you can't execute it without your regions in the context of Western Cape, where you've got six regions. What are some of the challenges that you could not get into the other three? Is it the leadership within these regions that does not seem to comprehend with the importance of putting this plan of the technical committee into place? That's, that's it. The, whoever's in charge doesn't know what about the plan. It doesn't know what a, 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 your one-year plan looks like doesn't understand the word of periodization where other people understand this and they know they have to play let's look at it the school's football also they have to play one once during the week and they have to play over the weekend so if you can't plan for that then how can you be in charge of football before you plan you have to consider your, your, your situation what you have how many grounds you have these are all things that are supposed to be part of you if you are a man that's planning. When is school holidays going to be? When can I make a tournament during school holidays? Right? All these things you need to know. And unfortunately, that uh, the, the, the guys that are doing the fixtures has got some other things to do. And you can't make fixtures. In, in the central Karoo, uh, central Karoo is Beaufort West and all those areas. The talent, the football talent. But they can't sit against uh, 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 one fire, can't sit next to one fire and talk about football. There's always something happening. This is something that the new generation must, must, must. We, we are too long in the football, some of us. And 
you don't change with the times. You have to change with the times, otherwise you're going to <laughs> you're going to smell. <laughs> now, coach, let's look at uh, the education aspect. I think you, you've touched on it as well, where you've rolled out some education and um, you've highlighted some challenges where people organize a course and it is just for that person to go to a course and not looking at the bigger picture of the impact of it um, when they send that delegate to attend that course that when they come back from that course that they plow back whether it be in their local football association and i take it that it will also be applicable to a region in that sense how do people perceive this education course do they just think that it is a mere attendance and to tick the box and that maybe the regions are not monitoring that these attendees, when they come back, that they plow back and they be monitored and they be evaluated um, on a monthly or yearly basis? I mean, it's not, it's not all people that are like that. There are regions that uh, the coaches that attended the courses, you could see that they, they want to learn. And when they went back, we get feedback. And then you see the improvement in their region or in, that, or in his club or in his girls' football or in his, that, that small region that he's involved with. Education of football is a, it's a must. And it must be given and allowed to be done by people that has got this passion and the insight to the education, football education. We, are, we haven't done C licenses for the past two years. We haven't done a B license for the past two years. Only D licenses, yes. But D licenses are for the primary schools. It's for, it's for under 13s. So we, but most of our players are over 13. So the, we do not get enough uh, education in, in the age groups. Uh, I have, I'm, I'm the coach of a, a first division team. I have three junior teams. I coach that team and I have to coach those junior teams. Maybe I am one of those that I don't want to give somebody else a chance. Uh, Eden. Eden has got two coaches, young coaches. The one is 20 years old. What uh, what uh, things we said to myself, Tavon Gomeni and I said, this guy he can see football. Where is he going to go to? Who's going to use him? We can't see him, you see. Can see the value in him. There's another one. Uh, uh, he's actually a, a, from from the Free State. What a coach! There are those coaches, but unfortunately, our education is not run by people that can identify people that can teach the part in the, in the future. The game is modern. If if my age, if I don't sit and and, and, and stick to the modern trends. Uh, I might just give it up. These ladies are ahead of us. They need our advice and education leadership. There's talent in this province, Manier. Wouldn't you say, Coach, then that is the responsibility of the technical, call it officer, or committee in that region to monitor that coach and to coach. give that coach the necessary support? Yeah, it is, you know... Uh, I am not a negative person, but this is unfortunately the case. Mm. That the football is, people in charge of the football doesn't even know what is offside. Mm. Doesn't know the modern offside at all. Mm. So how, the, how are we going to go forward? In future, what we have to do is people have to be honest and say, does he know football? Has he been in charge of football? Has he been involved in football? Let's take him. I, I, maybe I'm bragging now. Uh, Kamal Said, uh, all of these ex-professional players are assisting me. Why must I take them? I have to take them. They, they can see things. Uh, I keep on forgetting his name and they played for, for in Greece and in, 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 in Spain. Nassif. Nassif Morris, down to earth. They all over, they identify players, they identify talent. Uh, 
Tabong Gomeni can see from a mile off who can play football. But now he has got to be there. He's, he, somebody doubts him because that person has got the, an agenda. It's not going to work. We have to get the proper people into football. If I say football, I'm taking it from planning to telling the idea and seeing that things are done. Huh? But why would someone doubt the Tabung Womeni or a Nassif Morris? Um, because these are the people that have played at the top level. And of course, when you, as a booby uh, Williams, sit and identify your own team that you're going to work with, your criteria is this person must have played football. Maybe they do not have the education, but they have the potential, and you take them through that journey of education. People have problems with Tabo, Tabo is a Rasta. You know, people have got something against Rastas. Uh, come, uh, uh, say, he's humble. He's, he, he's not the off, a brag, a show off. You, know, you don't see him. Your Tabo, you see him. You don't like him. But when you don't see him, you don't see him. You see what I'm saying, Chris? You have to know the people again. If you don't know what under 17, under 17 to under 19 exercises must be, how can you coach them? Same here. If I don't see the value in Tavo and, and, and all these other ex professionals, <laughs> I'm not supposed to be in charge. Luckily for me, I come from number one, honest people. If you, if you, if I made a mistake, we discuss the mistake, we review it. One of our mistakes is we never get feedback from anybody. We don't want feedback. We feel that we are being criticized. No, you have to get feedback immediately. Even if, it's, if, it's, if it turns out to be a little small argument, it's nothing. You have to come back to one agreement again. I thank the Almighty. My mind is like this. I can be upset in five seconds, ten seconds, fifteen minutes later. I'm not upset anymore because I've worked through that thing already. So, ah, this is not what I. Or oh, you must listen to this man. It is again different characters, and if you do not have a background also of 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 having been with a lot of different people, I'm saying different. I'm not talking race, whatever. Then how can you manage the people? You, it's, it's, it's as simple as that. Coach, if you look at uh, at these regions, I'm going to say the regions, of course. Uh, do you think that they they accepted the appointments of the provincial technical officers, and and how well was it received? That is something that uh, you know you can't answer because. Some of them, they, they, they don't respect you at all. They don't even uh, distribute the, the, the necessary documents to the regions. You know, some regions are not running at all. Right? They come to you, they say there are, there's a team coming down for selections, and there's another team coming down for selections. Don't know what's happening. I, I haven't been around to the regions for a while because of the situation in the country. We, they uh, did the renewal contracts at the, at the end of March, so we stopped working immediately. But, <laughs> Chris, to be honest, I don't know what's going to happen. Everybody is in a, ah, what's going to happen, you know? But if we have to be honest, if you don't know football, get rid of football. The South African Football Association is in a big financial crisis. Review why are we in this crisis? Where is the money that comes from the World Cup Legacy Fund? Where is the money that South Africa receives from FIFA every year? How is it being utilized? Those are questions that must be answered by them. Talking about there's an influence on our football. Big, big influence on our football. Coach, talking about the... They call it 
contracts were not renewed. You know, they've reached the the natural end. I mean, th that is the way that has been used. It may have been um, used in a different, you know, um, a way. How has the team, when I say the team, I mean the nine provinces, the technical officers. I think it's two per, 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 per province. And with Neil Tovey, and of course, you guys report directly to Neil. And we're going to talk about some of the issues that were underlying within a province where people have issues that the technical officers report directly to Neil Tovey. What was the conversation with Neil um, as this termination or end of contracts was building up? Um, and we'll talk shortly about him not um, renewing his contract with the FA. I think, I think Neil was professional. He just informed us what he needed, you know. Mm. Uh, you must remember, it's not he, he's not the secretary. He's our technical director. He also needs to get the things sent through the, 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 the secretary to us. And he informed us, we were informed, in fact, last minute that we're not going to renew our contract. We were informed in April mm. that we are not going to that we renew. It was, I don't know, uh, I just thought to myself, so be it. I know you can't, can't fight these things. To be honest, I don't know what his reaction was with them, because we have not been informed after his meeting. I think they had a meeting last week on Wednesday or sometime. We haven't been informed about the outcome of that meeting yet. But they need not inform us, because we are not part of them anymore, you see. So you get a story here, you get a story there. But uh, I accept it. Looking at your plan and how you've executed it in the past two years, linking that to, to Vision 2022, and that has been the Bible of the local of the Football Association, Vision 2022, and the technical officers were part to drive that vision because we understand that that vision will not be realized at the top if the groundwork is not being done, which is the technical officers that are doing the groundwork in connection with the, with the technical director. What is your reflection on that and how do you see this vision, um, looking at the work that has been done, that needs to be carried right through, but now it seems like there will not be uh, provincial technical officers, even though there are discussions that they're trying to keep some of the technical officers. I mean, of course, you have not been approached about that. But what is your your take on the work that has been done in going forward, connecting it to, to Vision 2022? The reports that were received and the uh, communication among the, the uh, PTOs, we, we, we were struggling to be accepted, to what plans to be uh, 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 kind of to, to, to follow the plan, but there was an improvement. There was an improvement. The reports that we got from Neil uh, in the two years, is, he was happy, but obviously somewhere here and there, people are not doing their work. We're all trying to get into one line with the coaching education, with the talent identification. This talent identification, obviously, we, we conduct courses, we tell them how to identify the talent. Those things were all falling in place. In fact, they were running much better than the first year. So when we were told and then uh, that this thing is going to stop, everybody was like, hey, man, no. we, we have improved. We have we've done some, in, there was some improvement. The 2022 vision, the third testament, that <laughs> it's not going to be. Uh, reached the, the goals of Vision 20. It's not going to be reached, unfortunately. It's now a little bit of bad, sad side for my, bad news for my side, but we can't reach it. Mm -hmm. who's, who's going to be the new technical officer and director? Who's going to be appointed as the technical officers? Will they have enough money to get all these guys together again to, to restart whatever is needs to be restarted. Or oh, is there something going to be something new? I heard there's going to be a new organogram. So obviously that's a vision 2022 uh, structure is not going to be followed. As a parting short coach, um, 
What do you think needs to be done within the provinces? Let's look at Western Cape. You had your challenges with Marion to implement your duties that is in line with the national mandate. What do you think needs to happen that would make a drastic change in realizing the football development um, as we would like it to be, as we wish and we dream it uh, to be realized? It's a pity now I don't have the data in front of me. Western, Pro uh, South, uh, Western province has got its six regions. Or oh, Western Cape. Or oh, uh, Western Cape has got its uh, six regions. South of Cape Town is the biggest region. South of Cape Town is so big it, that it can be its own metro or province. We find the other regions, again, please note this respect, West Coast, it's not football. A little bit of football, right? Uh, Eden, football in certain areas. Central Karoo, where the strong footballers are, where the top teams are, nothing happening. Uh, Eden is going forward. What's the other one? Um, I, I, don't, I don't want to sound too, too dumb, but the people in charge, I don't know football. So Western province, the province must realize that, listen, everywhere is not football. Rugby is in certain areas. Who's playing Springbok rugby? Is the likeness from this area, right? Is the footballers, where are they coming from? We have to be honest with this. My idea, my, my thinking is uh, Western province, Western Cape, South of Cape Town becomes its own metro because it's got lots of clubs and the others become the province and the other regions are recognized as developmental regions for football. You can have a team playing in whatever castle league but then you have no junior football. Does it make sense? Let's get to that coach. Let's get to that. Does it make sense, uh, at least? No, we don't. I have, I have two teams in, 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 in playing in summer league where the temperatures are over 30 degrees. Nobody's coming to watch you. Okay. We, we, we have to be honest with ourselves and realistic. Let's talk about the ABC. To a certain degree, we'll talk about SAB. Because I understand that with SAB, there are some of the clubs that come from local football association. I'm calling them clubs because they've got the structures. Some of those, that is where you'll find that there is a club. And then you get to the Mutsepe, most of those are teams. To what influence did the technical officers had in the structures of those, uh, of those we teams? We had no influence whatsoever. Uh, this is unfortunate that uh, the technical structure wasn't out, thought out. I've got a team, I'm playing here, but I have no juniors. It doesn't make sense. We, we had no influence on that. Luckily, thank you. I, because I would never, I'll never play in summer. In summer, it's, it's, it's nicer time. People want to go on holiday. They want to have a party. This is South Africa. It's not Europe. There, the Europeans are playing in summer. Look how they're sweating. You can't play this game in summer, Manila. Coach, we wish you everything of the best, and we'll keep tracking your, your story as well. Inshallah.